We are live in the CD101 Big Room. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yes. Look out. See? Wow. It's amazing. Three people can make that kind of noise. We squish a lot of people into the big room. Too. That is crazy. Wow. Jeez, Louise. Thank you so much, the Flaming Lips, for coming down to the big room. Yeah. Wow. And all of you guys for the first ever standing room only CD101 Big Room. All right. Yes. All right. Brought to us today by AMP, the CD101 Big Room. So get AMPed and hang out for a little while. The Flaming Lips, thank you so very much for coming down. Well, sure. This, I think it's our third time to be here in the big room, I think. Gosh, maybe. Yeah, and yeah. it seems like just yesterday, already. but I think it was about a year or so ago. It had to be more than that even, a couple of years at least. Could be. Yeah. The soft like bulletin. Was it for months. the soft bulletin? It was two years and three months Two ago. years, three months. Steve yeah. has got a perfect, he's got a perfect memory. You're one of those guys, yes, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Wow. You can trust him. Yeah. And he knows he can, there's a Kmart at 400 Oak Street, and that's a good thing, <laughs> right? Is there? Okay. Thank you so very much, Wayne, Stephen, Michael. I'm going to use my cheat sheet. Also, we have Cliff, Rachel, and Daniel. Yeah, we got sort of an extended um, uh, ensemble for you guys today. Yeah, that, that's Rachel's nice. never played with us before, but she's going to do this thing because she's from. She's here. never actually played anything, but she's, today's she's a Columbus. <laughs> yeah. She's a home. <laughs> well, yeah, this is her place. Yeah. Yay, Rachel! Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. This is going to be, you know, this is what I expected from the Flaming Lips in the Big Room. I'm so glad you guys have... Spontaneous kind of mess. Yeah. I know. The, the, the visual sound and light spectacular that is the Flaming Lips probably will not happen here in the, the no. uh, Big Room. But some room. of the audience may be taking drugs into them. It'll be a fantastic old hey. weird bunch Why of weirdness not? anyway. Who knows? Why not? Yeah. And it's always encouraged. It's a subjective individual experience. Yeah. Touring yeah. to support the latest record, Yoshibi Battles the Pink Robots. Yes. Playing with the Unlimited Sunshine Tour, Modest Mouse, De La Soul, Hackensaw Boys, and Cake and as well. Cake, yeah, exactly, yeah. And a band yeah. called Kinky, Kinky too. From and Mexico. Kinky. Exactly. Oh, Kinky, yeah, yeah, yes, that's right. Kinky exactly, yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. At the Promo West Pavilion, it will be outside. Mm -hmm. So my question, I've, I've heard and rumor has it that uh, Cake and the Flaming Lips kind of flip-flop depending on venue, who it, plays it, last. Yeah, I mean, it was, and, it's, and it's all up, up to Cake. I mean, some nights uh, uh, they will let us go on later because uh, it was mostly on the West Coast because we were playing early. We go on at like 7 o'clock, and if the sun is in the wrong spot, you can't see all the That's... films and visuals and stuff. And Cake would go on, and then we'd go on later. And it would just, so yeah. what, do we, what, do we, what do we expect tonight? Are you I, closing down the show? You know, or I so... think now as the summer is sort of, you know, it, 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 the sun goes down earlier and earlier as we go. And we haven't had to do that in, um, I don't know, it's been a couple of weeks. So um, Okay, yeah, good. Because, yeah. I, I, I mean, visually, the show is always very, very good. It the is, lights but, you know, and... we've done shows now, you know, with or without all the stuff, and we, we aim to please one way or the other. So, so yeah. what, do, what can we expect visually if, from if the we, show tonight, if then, if, if it can't... is dark enough and it's outside? Oh, yeah, you know, I, I set myself on fire and do whatever we have to do. Yeah. Wow, yeah. crazy. <laughs> and you recover so well from show to show well, right no. what no, we uh, we i mean we have you know these crazy film things that we do with each song mm -hmm. we have um i don't know how many people we have now we have uh, like up to 10 people um dressed in animal costumes holding and, and sparklers what, and lights and specifically what critters do we expect on stage we have tonight? a cow we have a cow that's a small suit so he comes across kind of like a spandex cow <laughs> We have um, a Richard Simmons cow, sort of. <laughs> it depends on who's in it, I suppose. But um, we have a pig. I have a leopard. We have a leopard. leopard. We have a couple of rabbits. A we bear. Have a, a bear. We have a, a couple of bears. We penguin. Have a, we have a penguin. We have that's a, that's a, a pink penguin. Bear. A blue bear. Wow. Um, and, and, a yeah. Yeah. and you borrowed most of these costumes from used car dealers here in well, town? Or? Well, I haven't <laughs> thought of that, but that would, that would probably work. No, what happened is we did a show in Oklahoma City, a fairly big celebrated show, and one of our friends, um, maybe he was on drugs that night, he came wearing a rabbit costume. And after the show, weeks after that, people were like, oh, it was so amazing, you guys brought someone in a rabbit costume. And we didn't, you know, we didn't. <laughs> Intend we we didn't really have anything to do with it, but we saw how much everybody liked it. That little by little, we've added these costumes as part of our does, routine. That does we that friend who originally came up with the uh, costume idea get royalties from um, each no, and every no, show? No, okay. no, no, no money involved. None. No, just, just, just a handshake just, here and there. Right, right. And um, we've had, and now we, we sort of ask, you know, as we go around from town to down, uh, town, people to come up and sort of do this thing with us. And uh, Rachel said her dad is going to do it tonight. 
But we've had... Um, <laughs> this is news to Rachel, had, right? You guys know point? that comedian Carrot Top? Yes. He's been, he's been in the suit before, and um, who were some of the guys? I think in? Winona Ryder. Winona oh, yeah, Ryder, and we wow. had yeah, she Elijah stole Wood that costume has been in too. there. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So even though the costumes are a little smelly sometimes, it's celebrity smell, so it doesn't make it quite so bad. <laughs> it's a much better smell, a cleaner, more pure it's smell. A rich, it's a rich stinks. Okay, yeah, so yeah. on with business. So Promo that's all part S- of the show. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. I, I am and I talk about this at the show, but the part of the show that isn't actually on the stage is the Hackensaw Boys have this bus. That they've been traveling around. They, I don't know. They claim the bus is from 1955. And it's this ramshackle old thing that all, there's like 10 of them traveling in this bus. Is it, is it like that fishing lure camper you, sort of? It, no, it's not. Not quite the that, round it's, silver? It's like a, a big size bus they've hollowed out and they all live in it and don't do laundry in it. I know that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, every night, every night uh, I, I tell the audience as part of the show they're paying for it and they have to, they, but it's not on the stage. Is that they're, that to visit their bus. Is is part of the uh, the nights? It's like, it's like visiting the Oscar Mayer Wiener movie. Yeah, you get to go in there and they show you around, and they claim that they let people come on the bus and smoke pot with them. Smoke pot. I don't with know. Them. I don't know. Huh? Yeah, that's what wow. they claim. Yeah. So an experience from beginning to end. The show I tonight. I, that's what they claim. That's part of the unlimited sunshine wow. tour. Is that bus? Even though it's not advertised. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Promo West Pavilion with CD101 tonight. I would love for you guys to play us a song. Well, here you go. We're going to play a song that sounds a little different than it does on the record just because we got this weird ensemble for you today. It's called Do You Realize? Yep. Come on, you guys, clap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Wow. 
I don't know what to say. Yeah, all right. Rachel, fabulous. Yeah, she did a great very, job. Very, very nice yeah. job. Yeah. Very nice yeah. job. Thank you once again to Flaming Lips and the CD 101 Big Room Promo S Pavilion tonight. Touring to support that song from Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots. Exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. Latest record. When you wrote the record, stamped it out and released it, did you expect the kind of a success that you have had from this record? Great success early on in the release I know. Of the no, record. we didn't at all. That's, and it sort of surprised us because we had been playing some shows in England even before the, the record came out and stuff like that. And so we never know how many new songs to play because we don't know if people are going to... You know, sometimes people don't buy a record the day it comes out and stuff like that. Sometimes it takes them a couple of months sure. for playing some, some new songs and some old ones. But um, now, as, as, as the tour has gone along, we play these new songs and people are, ah, they, they already know them and they like them and all that. And that's a real, it's a, ni- it's a nice feeling. It's a, it's a relief. It's just you never know. Um, you never know what people are going to respond to. Sure, and you're no, are you noticing a new crowd, a different crowd that you see as you play shows? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, a lot. Of, I mean, we've been around for so long sure. that really, it, 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 from what I can tell, you have an audience for about five or six years, and you know some of them will leave and not listen to music anymore. They seem to go through a period where there's an intense, um, you know, from the time people are about 19 to they're about 26 or so. That's when they're going out, getting drunk. And it's become a huge part of their life. Or yeah, exactly. And those songs and those experiences they have going to concerts and that music, that's what makes their life. And so we always see our audience sort of shifting. But um, playing these shows with Cake, I mean, they have, they have a huge audience. I mean, everywhere we go, they're playing to tons of people who really just like, strange enough, just like to drink beer and listen to music. So everybody that comes out and plays kind of gets this crazy response. And I mean, and... And, I mean, we, we've played with a lot of different type of tours before. We've played sure. with Tool. We've played with Candlebox. We've played with, I remember the uh, uh, English band called Lush. Yes. And you'll get crowds that will love that band but sort of be antagonistic to anybody else. And sort of like, well, we love them, but that we hate everybody else. filler until the next band. Yeah, and so you never know what kind of, you know, uh, confrontation you're up against. But with this, it's just, I mean, it's a, and it's a weird bill. I mean, you got De La Soul and Hackensaw Boys. I mean, there, there's... I could see if you love one, you could rightfully hate sure. the other. Sure. You know? But that hasn't been the case at all. I mean, people have just been really open to no matter what has been on the stage. And so it's, it's I great. know. A lot of people are very excited about the show tonight. Right. Yeah. Very, mm-hmm. very excited. Mm-hmm. And excited to see, as we can tell by the p- amount of people that were you know, jazzed up about getting into the big room to see you guys right. see the show yeah. tonight. Mm-hmm. I'm very, very excited. Yeah, well, it's, an, it is, it's, a, it's a good show. And it's, a, it's diverse. And, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't mean it in a bad way, but something like OzFest, where it's just, you know, it's death and heavy it's metal sure. for eight hours. This really is all, it's all different. You, you have Kinky, um, and they're kind of, uh, oh, what would you call them, sort of techno meets... Latino? Latino, I know. Uh, <laughs> Latino techno uh, experience. Like Hackensaw Boys are like a true McCoy sort of bluegrass ensemble. Right. They get up there, aren't they? Yeah, like old school bluegrass. They truly are. Yeah. yeah, and they get up there really, and they all uh, around one microphone. They all just get up at the front of the stage and play while people are sitting up drunk behind too. them. I think they yeah, they, <laughs> they make their the own show. moonshine yeah. in that bus. <laughs> right, right. And um, yeah, that, that's yeah. 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 Let's hear it for moonshine. An, alco- an, an alcoholic in the room is like, hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you know and, the um, North End, Westerville, the birthplace of prohibition. So uh, you have well, to sort well, of be careful. Go. Right. Uh, yeah. With the we moonshine thing. Right. But no. But it's a big diverse sort of thing, and and, and so. And, and, and it's John from uh, Cake. Uh, it was really his idea. He called us a couple of months ago and sort of proposed this idea. And I was even skeptical as how well it could all work. And it's, it's, it's worked wonderfully. So, yeah, so hats Wonderful. off to them. For I'm sure. excited. Yeah. 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 I'm excited. I would love to hear another song. Okay, well, we're going to do um, the um, – it's not really it, – it's the title track, but we didn't intend it to be that way. This is called Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots Part 1. And on the record, it's kind of an upbeat sort of poppy song, and we're going to do it in a kind of – Sad, sad kind of way, yeah. Yep, right? Kind of as if uh, Lionel, Lionel Richie was going to do it. Her name is Yoshime. She's a black belt in karate Working for the city She has to discipline her body Cause she knows that 
It's demanding to defeat those evil machines. I know she can beat them. Oh, Yoshima, they don't believe it, but you. The Flaming Lips live in the CD 101 big room. Wow. All right. Still, again, nice I have no... Yeah, very nice. You guys are just jazzed up yeah, about this hyped. show. They're ready, they're ready to applaud, aren't and they? And you guys seem the same as well. We talked a few minutes ago. You guys have been doing this for a long time, over 15 years. Almost, almost. 20 years. It'll be 20 years, I guess, next year. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. very the long, long time. And almost as many records. Well, we have, I think, like, yeah, we have, like... 11 records, a bunch of 10, EPs 11. and singles, and yeah, this a, yeah, we've been making music and forever, long time, yeah. long, long time. That's got to be difficult to look back on those, and especially with things like Zyrica, the full-length movie that's getting ready to come out, Christmas on Mars. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we didn't intend. You know, when we when we started out, we had no intention of being like a career, making a career out of sure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, musical Rachel. interlude, Rachel. Rachel! Rachel! That's right, she, she had her hand on that. Yes, on, that crazy on the thingy thing thing. thing. There, yeah. The machine thingy. She didn't know. She didn't Rachel, know how much power Rachel, always she had. pay attention. <laughs> you were always on, you were always performing. But yeah, you know, when we started, we, we didn't know we could have a career, or we could do this. We just simply, it was, it was an idea that we had, it came out of the idea of what punk rock and even American hardcore music back in the early 80s, we were, in, we were inspired to be, um, to be in a band, not because we were musicians or anything, we just thought, oh, it'd be fun for a summer. And now it's almost 20 summers later. Yeah, wow, that's a lot yeah, of summers. Exactly. That's yeah. a and long so summer break. And so how lucky we were that, you know, the thing that we love to do, you know, we, we get to do it. And then really, I never, I never take it for, for granted or, 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 or make light of it because there's a lot of musicians we run into, you know, throughout the years who, who for some reason or other aren't able to keep doing it. And we kind of have stumbled into being able to do it. And, um, yeah, it's a good thing. You, sure. was, uh, you have always had some success with every record that you have done. Yeah, I mean, we always think that this could be the last one we do because people will just – Forget about us and, and, and not, not, you know, not buy it or not, not support us or anything. And so we are always ready to, to go back and work at Target. 
Is it? <laughs> and that would be great with me. I don't mean that as a second best sure. thing. I, to me, that would be fine. I, Whatever. I've, I've, I'm lucky I get, to do, I get to make music. I would make music, you know, anyway, in, in just my back room. Yeah. Does it keep getting better? Are you... Oh, you know, I don't know. I mean, we do what we like, and so it's hard to say, you know, quantifiably what music is, you know, better than another. If someone comes up to you and loves, you know, in sync, you know, to them that's great music, and someone else comes up to you and loves Captain Beefheart, well, to them that's great music. And music is one of those things that I, I plead, plead to people that they should just surrender to it. And if you like it, listen to it. And don't, you know, don't worry about is it cool or is it what people are going to think. This is... This is easy. If you like it, listen to it. Enjoy it. And that's kind of what we, what we do. I mean, we just we make music that we like. And, um, you know, we hope people like it. And we hope people buy it. But you, you really have to do it because you love it. Yeah, you have to be doing something right to be on the same major label for what seems to be yeah, well, I'm a, 10 you know, years since, or something since at this point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wouldn't know. See, I think if we tried to second guess what we're doing right, we'd screw it up every are time. You, are you proud of everything? Or is there something that you look back and go, ooh, ow? What oh, I don't know. Thinking? You know, I'm not overly thrilled with anything that we've ever done or hated. I mean, we, 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 I mean, we love all kinds of music, so it isn't as though we sit around and listen to our own records and go, boy. You guys, that's great stuff there. I mean, it, <laughs> it's always a little uncomfortable, sure. you know, hearing yourself back. But, I mean, that's, we, we, that's what we want to do. We, we love doing it. And, but, well, I mean, we don't think about it that much. I mean, especially the early stuff. I just got through uh, doing a Ryko disc, is reissuing all those on, on, a, on some, you know, some, some updated sort of liner notes and all that sort of stuff, the way they do with a lot of people. And, um, you know, having to go through it and remaster it and all that, it's, um, it sounds really like different people in a way. I mean, in, in a way, we are different. Sure. Uh, you know, we started when I was 22, you know, and now I'm 41. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, long time, yeah. You say that like it's a bad thing. That's no, not 41. I enjoy it. I'm glad, you know, I'm glad. That, the uh, experiences that you have had over the years have brought you to the place that you are right now. Well, exactly, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I would love to hear another song well. As well. what we're going to do is uh, some people have been talking about this, uh, this tour that we're going to be doing with, um, with Beck. Beck. Um, you know, I, don't, I think it's starting in the middle of October. Doing a show also and then as his backup band? We're going to do right? uh, yeah, a show as the Flaming Lips, and then we are going to... Go back and change into some zebra costumes or something, and come out as Beck's <laughs> band. Doesn't that sound like that crazy yeah. idea? Yeah. He Are you excited this. about that tour? Yeah, I mean, he approached us a couple of months ago about because uh, uh, he always has a marvelous band with him as well. But a lot of the guys that were in his band have now gone on to form their own bands. And when he was going to go on tour, they were like, "Hey, man, we're doing our thing." So he um, thought he would call us up and say, "Hey, would you guys want to do this?" I mean, I, he's I think he he's liked our music for a long time, and we've run into him around the world here and there, and um, it seems like it's going to be a real thing. So we thought this would be an ample opportunity of this studio here that we could rehearse one of his songs and see how it was going. And this is a new song that you guys won't know, but, but picture instead of, instead of me being here that this would be Beck and we'd be playing this song, right? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Beck, as done by the Flaming Lips, exactly. live in the CD 101 Big Room. Rachel lost her, uh, she lost her program on her Instagram. Oh, did she hear it? never played it before so yeah, it, doesn't it is a bizarre sort of guitar slash it something is. guts of in the back and you can show them how that thing is crammed in there <laughs> that's cool love it okay so this is uh i think a song called the golden age we're gonna start goes like this and you guys won't know it but you'll applaud like crazy right here at the beginning right yeah here we go yeah Yeah. 
desert wind Cool your aching head The weight of the world Drift away I mean, it's, it's a marvelous little song. I mean, we, we just started to work it up. And we, we, we talked to him, you know, a couple of times a week. He's on tour now as well. Sure. And so, on. Yeah, so I think it could work it's out. It's been fun yeah. and exciting for you guys to prepare for the upcoming tour. Yeah, it's going to be great. I mean, see, it'll be a lot of work because we'll do our own set and then do his and do all that sort of junk. And but you're up for it as the yeah. hardest working band in well, rock and roll today. That. No, the luckiest band, that's for sure. But, um, but Promo we, I mean, and we love his music anyway, so what a, what a sure, great Sure, there band. you go. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. I love your attitude. And I am having such a great time. I don't want it to end. You guys going to play one more, well, two we more, five more, you, six you, more, seven more? No, or are no, we done no, at this I point? Think, I think we'll, well, we were, and we're, we'll have to wait until the show tonight? Well, sure. We'll play some songs there for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A couple. <laughs> one, two. One, two, three, yeah, or we'll four. Do, we'll do some and we'll throw stuff at the audience and I'll set myself on fire like I promised. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring the lighter song. fluid. I'm ready for this one. You better do it or I'm going to be so disappointed. Well, yeah. I will. I will. Don't Thank worry. you no. so much. Right, sure, I really thanks, do appreciate sure. it. Anytime. Oh, Wayne, Stephen, Michael, Cliff, Rachel, you did a great job. Daniel as well. Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots, the ra latest record from the Flaming Lips. Look for them a tour with Beck later on in the fall, also backing up the band. Promo West Pavilion for the Unlimited Sunshine Tour tonight at the Promo West Pavilion with CD101. Thank you once again for coming down to the Amp Big Room here at CD101. Get amped and see the Flaming Lips. We now go back to Command Central. Thank you very much. CD101. Right.